Well, 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 guys, guess what? Today's a good Father's Day. It turned out it's gonna be a movie night for me. You know why? Because I went at butt crack ass early in the morning to Walmart to try to buy me some water. And of course, the Walmart was all out of them. So then I was like, you know what? Let me swing over to my local Dollar Tree. My and everything's a dollar. It's the Dollar Tree. It's not the Dollar General or the Family Dollar. Everything in that store is a dollar. But sometimes they get really good stuff and really good movies or really generic movies. Just I, I always go in there because you never know what you're gonna find. But today, I found an amazing haul of fucking ridiculous ass horror movies and action movies. And I'm gonna go in the house right now and I'm gonna check these bitches out. All right, guys, so here we are in my house. Sorry about the lighting. It is what it is, but uh, I just got back from the Dollar Tree and this is the bag of goodies that I got. Let's find the receipts. Here it is. Let's see what we got here. Dollar Tree, well, we won't give the location out. Dollar Tree, obviously. Okay, so. Is there anything on there that can show you? Not really, but regardless, I spent uh, $23.35, should focus right there, at the Dollar Tree, minus, you know, the pretzels and the, the cheddar bacon uh, skins, and then I think I bought some, uh, some disinfectant spray right there. Some cheesy dollar spray. So literally, I got all these movies for under $20. And they're really not that bad. There's some some decent movies in here. So let's start off. I uh, don't know what it is. Stage Fright. Now, mind you, all these are a dollar. And let alone, regardless of what they are, all those DVDs that were there are at least worth a dollar. I mean, just for printing them and, you know, making the artwork and stuff. I mean, they're, they're a buck. If, Obviously, DVDs are becoming obsolete, but I'll always collect DVDs. It doesn't really matter if the Blu-ray's out. If there's Blu-rays, I'll get that. If not, you know, I'll download some of I, you know, I'll do it all. A collector of all, I am. So, but I grab these ones because they're decent brands. They're on a decent, uh, decent label. They're probably all budget B shitty movies. Some of them might be cool, but you know, I'll have to watch them and find out. So, all right, obviously, Stage Fright. Uh, what is it? A cross between Glee and Sleepaway Camp. Stage fright is creepy and frequently quite gory. Now, I mean, right there, it's on Magnet. They're a good, uh, they're a good weird brand. They put out some stuff. I should have actually probably found the other stuff that they've put out that I have, but my DVDs are not in order, and it's going to take me probably two or three hours to search a Magnet video, find out where it is. Okay, Stage Fright's the first one. Let's, what is this? Oh, this is a Blu-ray. I didn't mean to grab it, but I did. Christina Ritchie, John Cusack, Distorted. Don't fear the lies, fear the truth. Don't even know what it is, but it's a Blu-ray. Um, it's on Echo Bridge. Echo Bridge, I probably shouldn't have bought that one. I mean, that, that's they sell that stuff at Walmart, and their stuff ranges anywhere from like three to eight bucks if it's like a box set or DVDs, five bucks. Echo Bridge isn't that great of a company, but it's a Blu-ray. Got a couple old uh, slightly famous people in it but you know all right let's see what else is. oh truth or dare uh oh do the dare or the dare does you look at this don't even know what it is what, what is it what is that on who knows it's not rated it's got some bloody chicks on the back it's a scary movie it's probably terrible but hey it's a dollar it's brand new what sanctimony what I don't even, I don't even know what this one is. Ooh, you know, it's not very good when there's no actual pictures on the back. It's just artwork. 88 minutes came out in 2000. I don't know. I mean, in the spirit of seven in American Psycho comes a stylish, hyper-violent thriller from controversial blah, 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 blah. I mean, those, I mean, those seven in American Psycho are great movies. So who knows what that is? Looks like an action film. Bunch of nobodies in it. Oh, well. <laughs> the end of the world begins with him slash it. 12, 12, 12. Evil is born. Look at this one. What? 
Oh, it's on Asylum. They, Asylum, they put out some junky, funny, gory stuff. They're, they're, they're all right. But I mean, like I said, a dollar, you got some warnings over here. Camera probably, I don't even know what it contains. Disturbing violence. Oh, graphic images, nudity and gore, some language, all that. Yeah, that's, that's good stuff. Probably a terrible movie, but there it is. 12, 12, 12. Oh, what's this one? Outrage, Way of the Yakuza. <laughs> Savage Mayhem. The film isn't for the squeamish. It's on Magnet. Picked it up. Could be pretty cool. I mean, look at this fucking guy's face. He means business. Magnet looks good. Outrage. Next on the agenda. Sushi Girl. What? Tony Todd's in it. Candyman's in it. Revenge is a dish best served raw. It's another magnet movie. Artwork's pretty damn dope. Mark Hamill's in it. Oh, geez. Sushi Girl, truly a diabolical treat. No idea what it's about. It was a dollar. It's on Magnet. Magnolia. Look at that artwork. That's probably why I picked it up. Next, The Cleaning Lady. Uh, I have no idea who these people are. A twisted story of obsession and love. Uh, I don't know. It looks pretty independent, but it's still a horror movie. A dollar. Can't go wrong. Oh, look at... Oh, Lord. A Shutter exclusive bore in the outback. <laughs> no one can hear your squeal. What a bloody good time from start to finish. Bore. I bet it is a real bore. Did it... I don't know. Another independent Shutter. I mean... You know, you, everybody knows what Shutter is. Let's see, what's next? Oh, Pulse and Sick Nurse. What? What is it? Sick Nurses. What? I don't even know what's going on. Double feature, dollar. Uh, on Magnet. A horror double feature. There you go. Dollar. Man, it's like it never ends. John dies at the end. From the director of Phantasm and Bubba Hotep. Uh, oh, immensely entertaining. Okay, another magnet one. Got some old, uh, was that Paul Giamatti? Who is that? Yeah, Paul Giamatti and, uh, you know, some, uh, it's a, probably a nice budget B one. Who knows? Oh, the final girls. This looks, like, that's a dude from Workaholics. What's that guy's name? And Divine. <laughs> what is this shit? I don't know. This is hilarious. It looks like a horror comedy. I'd imagine that's what it is. It looks pretty cheesy, but again, a dollar. Moving on, Dynamite Warrior, a Magnolia film. I don't know, Born from Born to Fight. I don't even know what this is. Is that a spaghetti Western? That's a ninja? I don't even know what's going on. From the creators of Protector, Born to Fight, and Ambach. Ambach was amazing. Tony Jaw was amazing. So this... I mean, I don't, dude, he, he looks like a damn cowboy right there. I mean, there's a wagon wheel. I don't know. That, that looks interesting. Why I picked it up. Oh, Selfie Man. Now, this one was so bad. It includes a free digital copy, though. This just looks like some straight-up YouTube-made movie. Straight trash. However, I don't know. But there was two of them, and I couldn't pass up Selfie Man. You know what I might... I might give one of these away to some some whoever comments or I'll come up with something and put it in the description and I'll send you this. You'll get Selfie Man for free, autographed with a pen in my asshole. If you want that, I might give it away just because it's ridiculous. And then we got, what is it? Survival of the Dead. Bam. We're going fast now. A bloody good time. Look at that. Blu-ray. It's got the reflective cover. Come on. A dollar Blu-ray zombie movie. You can't beat that. A rental fist fight with Ice Cube and Charlie Day. Uh, you know what? That movie's... i never even seen it, but it was the rental and it's a dollar. Who cares? It's probably slightly funny. And then the all-time classic right here. Billy Crystal in City Slickers. The first one. Part two's awesome too, but City Slickers was that Jake Gyllenhaal's first first time ever in a movie as a little kid. Billy Crystal's amazing. And then... oh. Speaking of Tony Jaa, here's The Protector 2 featuring the RZA oh, from the Wu-Tang Clan. Tony Jaa ain't nothing to fuck with. Uh, another Blu-ray. I mean, it's a buck. Tony Jaa, Protector 2. That's, I don't even know how many movies that was, but it's a lot of them. And I went with, uh, for movie nights, 
Oh, the potato skins, cheddar and bacon. Mmm, from Diddlyumptious. And then I went for some old man uh, fucking Snyder's pretzel rods. Old man style, get my mouth all dry and cut up the roof of my shit. But that's it, movie night. Uh, shit, big stack of DVDs. And that was it, man. That's crazy, all at the dollar store. I lucked out today. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, then you are the fucking shit. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Got a shitload of movies. It was a good day. Peace out.